Hello and welcome, here is Danny. Today we have the second episode about e-bikes. I'm going to show you some basics about this kind of bike uh, because some people think these are not bikes uh, anymore. These are bicycles uh, and this can be very, very helpful. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the accus, how does it work, how the motors work and how much do I like riding these bikes. First off, these are e-bikes and not scooters, so these are not made for people who don't want to pedal. You are pedaling on the e-bike. Uh, this is kind of a, a physical workout if you are uh, riding on the e-bike, but how does the motor support us? Let's just see now. If you've never had any chance riding any of e-bikes, the common question is where is the motor? It can be located in three different areas. For example, the front hub, so the front wheel, the rear hub in the rear wheel and centrally located just by the uh, crankset area. The next question would be how do we switch it on and how do we switch it off? Let's start our adventure with the e-bike. Most of the e-bikes will have the power switch. Um, most of the times it will be located on the battery or somewhere in the battery area, just like this button here. So let's switch it on. Now we turn to our interface. Uh, this is the, the way we are communicating with our bike, with the motor and perhaps with the battery as well. We are turning this one on and once it's switched on, we can see all the info we need. Now we can see all the info like the speed, the distance and time of the day, but the most important ones for us as the e-bike users are these two. This one is the battery level and this one is the assist. Here's the first step regarding the battery level for the beginner e-bike users. This is just the estimate. We have here, for example, one, two, three, four levels. Uh, some other uh, computers would show you the percentage of the battery. Uh, but this is just the estimate, so uh, it can disappear completely when you ride up the steep climb. When you go down the hill, it, it can come back to 100%. So you should rather know how many kilometers with your body weight in the conditions you are riding daily uh, you can do. So let's say you are living in the hilly terrain and your body weight is 70 kilos and you know your bike can make 65 kilometers that's something you can know for sure so just check out the kilometers and then if you share this info with some other guy which is let's say a 110 kilo um, overweight uh, and he's living in the really mountainous uh, region his bike will not be able to do even 50 percent of what yours is doing so make sure you know that also the assist level uh, will uh, either decrease or increase uh, the mileage you can do on the battery now the assist level, uh, we can have from 3 to 5 to some customizable um, levels on different bikes. Uh, but just in general, uh, this assist level will mean how much the motor will support you while you are pedaling. And the second thing is also uh, it will have some speed limit. So let's say the first level can be up to 15 kilometers per hour. The second can be up to 20 and the third one up to 25 and 25 kilometers per hour. That's the legal speed for the legal bicycle on the street, at least in the European Union. If, if you are living in some other countries, let us know how does it work for you. So both uh, the the power we have w from the motor and um, the speed we can gain working with the motor we can also go down to zero and now the motor will not switch on now about the additional equipment that e-bikes may have one of these is the gear sensor why do we have it this gear sensor will sense the moment while we change the gear and it will turn off the motor because here we have the central motor the motor is using the chain so uh, it does put a lot of power to the chain uh, when it supports us and while we change the gear we don't want that to happen because that would uh, pretty much wear down the chain or even snap the chain we know that uh, we should not be changing the gears when we pedal with the whole force uh, this motor doesn't know it unless it has the gear sensor this bike this is not the street legal bike it's made for off-road riding it has more than uh, two and uh, 250 watts so this gear sensor is very handy here here is the second sensor that's the braking sensor as you can see this is the braking lever and normally 
the brake lever would only have one housing connected to it. Here we have two housings because the second one is for this brake sensor. What does it mean? While we brake, the motor will switch off, which is very handy if you want to just stop anywhere, traffic lights, somewhere in the city or just, just anywhere. Why would we fight the brakes against the motor? So when you just uh, pull the lever, the sensor will, will sense it and will switch the motor off. And now so that we make it clear this is not a scooter, I'm going to show that if you don't pedal, it will not go. I have switched on everything, but the motor doesn't work because this is not a scooter. It will work only if we pedal. So now, as you can see, the wheel is spinning. If I stop pedaling, the motor is switching off because it also has a sensor of pedaling. So pedaling sensor, only when pedaling, the motor will support us and we still need to work. Here we have the additional equipment of an e-bike or maybe more like a motocross bike because this uh, bike has 750 watts so it's only for the off-road ride it's not street legal and here we have additional uh, lever that will allow the motor to be to be switched on if we don't pedal uh, why do we use it because uh, we have powerful uh, motor here we go to like very very technical maybe steep climbs and then maybe if we cannot pedal in some uh, in some difficult uh, terrain this lever will help us to go through the terrain so this is the additional equipment of very powerful bikes now, very interesting option for this heavy bike is the walking mode. If you don't want to ride up the steep climb, you can just press and hold this button here and you will see the icon of a walking, walking man uh, and your motor will work with you up to 4 km per hour so you can just walk up the steep climb. And here is very important part of your e-bike, that's the battery. Uh, it is of course rechargeable, uh, it is heavy and it is removable. Very often it will have also the USB port so that you can uh, charge your uh, phone or whatever uh, electronic device you have. Um, removing the battery uh, is very handy because uh, you can do that uh, in different situations. If you don't want your e-bike to be stolen, you remove the battery. If you need to carry the bike like up the staircase, you remove it because the battery is pretty uh, heavy. And also you can remove it just for, for example, charging at your house, at your home. This is how the battery removed look like. And here are these uh, two ports. One is for charging. Uh, you should only use the original charger because the battery is pretty huge. If you use the wrong one, uh, it can even burn your bike or your house. I know um, um, a man who, who, who did it with his garage. And this one is the USB port so uh, that we can, we can use the navigation or anything uh, and, and charge it from this battery. Uh, the lights we have on the bike can also use the energy from our battery. So these were some basics about e-bikes. I do like e-bikes. Uh, these bikes will help you commuting, going to the work. If you are going through some hilly terrain, you're not going to sweat as much as on the normal bike, so it helps. If you're riding through some, let's say, pretty boring flat terrain, the e-bike will always give you some more speed, which is so much fun. And I also use my e-bike to ride the courses I'm gonna race on just before the race, the same day, which is so helpful as well. If you have any further questions, put those in the comments below. And remember, if you wanna make good friend with your e-bike, learn how much in what um, uh, type of terrain your bike uh, will do in terms of the kilometers because if you are running out of juice coming back home with the heavy bike can take a long time.